All right, Coast Life, I think you're really going to enjoy this Get Home Safely tip today with our friends at Seaside Krav Maga. Leah, today we're talking about what does a predator look for? Yeah. So that is why we are so thankful for our friends at Seaside Krav Maga. Here is this week's Get Home Safely tip. Predator is really looking for an easy target, right? Uh, the predator doesn't want somebody that's going to fight back, put up a fight. Um, we sometimes say the predator doesn't want to get injured or doesn't want to get caught. But the reality is uh, a lot of these predators and, and uh, bad guys, bad women, uh, are uh, predators and they've been injured or they've been uh, in jail before. So it's not their first go around. So the fact that they might get caught maybe isn't going to stop them. But um, they're looking for an easy target, basically somebody that's distracted. This is a horrible situation. Hopefully you had an alarm, you had a dog, you heard something, something didn't feel right. If the person came home with you, maybe something didn't feel right, we should end it early. But if I'm down here to here, you're gonna grab the back of my head. You're gonna put your thumb in my eye. You're gonna bend your right leg, push and roll, yes. Okay, you're out, great, hit me, and get up. They did a study where they took a film of a New York City street to prison, to predators, individually, and all of them picked the same people. It's their body language, the person that's not paying attention, they're on their phone, the person that's walking like they're afraid, not the person who's standing up, making quick two to three second eye contact, I've seen you, I've seen you, and is walking with a, pers with a purpose. That person becomes, in their mind, too much of a hard target. It doesn't, it's not worth the risk to them. Let's forget about Leah, let's go find somebody that's gonna be easier. They don't wanna get in a tussle. They don't wanna get, you know, hurt. And the other thing is they're gonna tell you what will ruin their plan. They're gonna say, don't scream, don't run or I'll kill you. Those are the two things that ruin their plan. You better start doing it because if they're willing to kill you here, imagine when they get you around behind the building or into the van and now they have three hours to deal with you. Draw the line in the sand here and go. Leah, ever since we started getting these tips, does it just make you think about what you're doing every day? You're like, oh, I mean, it really does. And yeah. it brings us back to sort of that first basic tip, which yeah. is uh, just self-awareness yeah. and, and being self-aware when you go out in the world, knowing things like, no, don't park under the dark spaces, mm -hmm. like park in the light yeah. when you're going shopping at night. Exactly, yeah. And, and like, just even like you said earlier, carrying your bags. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I hate doing two trips. <laughs> like, I hate trips it. <laughs> into the house. So uh, really just makes you rethink and, and so grateful yeah. for that new knowledge. And next week we're talking about, you've probably heard it, run, hide, fight. Really important tip coming up next week as well. So make sure you stay around for that, but also stay around right now. We have more Coast Life on the way. This segment of Coast Life was brought to you by Seaside Krav Maga.